Cause you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. Hey everyone, it's Larry here, and if you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Wind Larry Valino, and I'm an absolute DIY freak. So, anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing guys another back to school DIY, and if you guys haven't seen my last back to school DIY, be sure to go check that out. The link will be in the description box below. But anyways, I'm gonna be showing guys how to make these really cute customized pencils, and it's almost back to school and you do not want to go to school with just boring old pencils. So here, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make these really, really easy, customizable pencils, and you could do any design you'd like with these. And these pencils were inspired by the EOS lip balms that I saw. I was just surfing through the internet and I saw these cutest ELS lip balms ever. They were in pastel colors exactly like these ones. And further ado, let's just get into the video. So first we are going to cover the eraser bit as well as the pencil tip with some tape just so that it won't get any paint when we start painting the pencil. Next, what you want to do is just start painting your pencil with some white acrylic paint. This will act as your base coat. Once you've done that, just leave it to dry completely. Once it's completely dry, you can now start painting it with any color you'd like. Here, I'm just painting it with a pastel blue color. When the paint is completely dry, you could then remove the tape from the pencil. If there is any excess paint from the tip of the pencil, then just remove it with a damp tissue. For this step, all we have to do is cover the pencils with some tape to protect it from the Mod Podge. But of course, this step is completely optional. Now all we have to do is just start glazing our pencils. So now just leave the pencils to completely dry. Once your pencils are completely dry, you can then remove the tape and you're finally done. So yeah, that is really pretty much it and I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and let's try to get this video up to 16 thumbs up this time. Instead of 15, let's try to get this video up to 16 thumbs up. I know you guys can do it. And be sure to subscribe to instantly be part of this family and you do not want to miss a single back to school DIY so just hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be fun. And if you end up making any of these pastel pencils in any design or any color, be sure to hashtag it on Instagram or Facebook to Larry Bellino Creations so that I can see it and you will be featured in my next video. And yeah, that is really pretty much it. 